Devante was born on Christmas Eve in 1992 to his parents Pamela Brown and Douglas Adams. Notice his parents have different surnames. That's because they were separated and cared for their children on co-parenting terms. Born in Redwood City, California, Devante was raised in East Palo Alto, California with his three siblings, his brother, Douglas Jr., and his twin sisters, Destiny and Deshanae. Devante's mom, Pamela, lived just 10 minutes away from her former husband, Douglas, with her kids in a two-bedroom apartment. And despite the separation, Douglas, who was an English author, screenwriter, humorist, satirist, and dramatist, found a way to be able to play a part in the upbringings of his son. When he was a child, Devante had been a big football fan and prodigy. He supported the Raiders from childhood and was a regular in informal football games for kids known as Pop Warner from a young age. When Devante was in third grade, he even wore a jersey of Charles Woodson, a former NFL star defensive end who has also played for both teams Adams has played for, the Las Vegas Raiders and the Green Bay Packers, for picture day, mentioning that he wanted to be an NFL or NBA star in his elementary school yearbook. That's right, NBA. From then, Devante was already a two-sport star, excelling in basketball and football. Having started hooping as early as five years old, Devante was a major basketball enthusiast who was a big Michael Jordan fan through his father's influence. Despite both his parents being supportive of his sports career, his mom made sure he was able to up his grades in class too by putting him on SAT sessions during the weekend. Devante went on to attend the Palo Alto High School in California, but he didn't play football until his junior year and established himself as one of the best on the basketball court, averaging 9.0 points, 5.8 rebounds, and 5.4 assists per game in his senior year. And he was 6 feet 1, so he could have easily tried to make his way into the NBA. But he decided to play football from his junior year and was a man of many talents. He got onto the team easily and was a two-way starter for the Vikings football team, playing as a cornerback on defense and his natural wide-out position on offense. Recording 92 catches for 1,578 yards and 18 touchdowns in just 25 games for his high school football team across two seasons, he led the team to a CIF state championship. He excelled even in his unnatural position as a corner back, totaling 44 tackles, including two for a loss, two forced fumbles, an interception, and four passes defended. Despite what seemed like a super two seasons with the Vikings, Adams couldn't garner interest outside of the relatively local Division I schools and was seen as a two-star wide receiver similar to his basketball recruiting star. He was recruited by schools like Fresno State, California, Hawaii, and San Diego State, but Adams eventually committed to play college football at Fresno State. Devontae started off as a true freshman in the 2011 season with the Fresno State Bulldogs and the then head coach Pat Hill's final season, playing with his future Raiders teammate Derek Carr as the starting QB for the Bulldogs. Under new head coach Tim DeRue, in 2012 and 2013, Devontae and Carr tore up the conference. Adams was an exceptional redshirt freshman, catching 102 passes for 1,312 yards and 14 touchdowns, winning the conference's Freshman of the Year award by a landslide, as well as being the 2012 Hawaii Bowl MVP. The following season, he was even more productive for the Bulldogs' offense, leading the nation with 131 receptions for 1,719 yards and 24 touchdowns at the end of the season and setting a Mountain West Conference record with his 24 touchdown receptions, eight more than any other player in the country in 2013, and ranking fourth in single-season FBS history. Despite just playing two seasons for the Bulldogs, he established Fresno State career marks for catches, 233, and touchdown receptions, 38. By the end of the season, he was named Second Team All-America by the Associated Press. He topped off his time at California State University Fresno with a phenomenal performance against the USC Trojans in the 2013 Las Vegas Bowl before declaring that he would forego his final two college seasons and enter the 2014 NFL Draft. But despite his records at Fresno State, the lack of competitiveness in the conference reduced Adams' rankings in pre-draft analysis. Come the draft, Devontae's pre-draft self-proclamation, in which he openly declared himself the best receiver in the draft in an official NFL Network segment, wasn't enough to convince NFL teams, as he was selected in the second round of the 2014 NFL Draft 
by the Green Bay Packers as the 53rd overall pick and the 9th wide receiver. He had a slow start to his career, playing as the 4th choice receiver in his NFL debut against the Seattle Seahawks. He was far from a fan favorite in his first two seasons, struggling with catching passes despite playing with star QB Aaron Rodgers, and many of those who overlooked Adams in the draft were proven right. In his rookie season, he tallied a 57.6% catch rate and a 53.2% in his second season. But since then, his work ethic has paid off. Winning the unofficial off-season MVP award for his efforts preparing for the 2016 season, Adams came back a new man, recording six touchdowns in his first five games of the new season, and he hasn't slowed down at all. He's caught 10 or more passes in 14 games during his NFL career for the Packers, which is by far the most in NFL history. He holds the Packers team record for catches, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns in a season, ranks number two in franchise history in receptions at 669, and receiving touchdowns, 73, and number four in receiving yards, 8,121, and he had caught 10 or more touchdown passes in a a season every year since 2016, except 2019, when he had only five. Since 2016, Adams also led NFL wide receivers with 58 touchdown catches, including a career-high 18 in 2020, which was the highest in that season and has 11 more touchdown passes than the next NFL player since 2016. According to NFL research, Devontae is the first player in the Super Bowl era to have 50-plus receptions, gain 600-plus receiving yards, and score eight-plus touchdowns through his first six games of a single season, as well as the only player in NFL history with three seasons, 2018, 2020, and 2021, of 110-plus catches, 1,350-plus receiving yards, and 11-plus receiving TDs. He's been ranked in the NFL Top 10 twice, 6th in 2021 and 7th in 2022, and has two first-team All-Pro appearances and five Pro Bowls. With a player with such a slow start, Devontae has really outdone himself. He's already one of the best wide receivers the game has ever seen, and he doesn't look to be stopping anytime soon. Apart from improving his on-field skills, he's also boosted his financial situation. From his first contract after being drafted in 2014, a four-year contract worth $3,933,402 with a signing bonus of $1,180,656 and a guaranteed $1,779,440 to a far more lucrative four-year contract renewal worth $58 million with an $18 million signing bonus and an annual salary of $14.5 million and a guaranteed $30 million. Devontae is now on a $141 million over the five-year contract with the Las Vegas Raiders signed in March 2022. The trade also reunited Adams with his college quarterback and close friend Derek Carr. His estimated net worth of a mouth-watering $25 million is not only made from his on-field performances, though. He's made over $500,000 from endorsement deals alone as he's dealt with world-renowned mega companies like Pepsi, Gillette, Taco Bell, Snickers, and even Nike through the Jordan brand he loved so much as a teenager. He also has dealt with shampoo company Head & Shoulders, the Associated Bank Corps, hygiene and personal care producers Procter & Gamble, Marriott Courtyard Hotels, and NFL sideline technology company Surface. With all this money he's acquired in his wonderful career, it's no surprise that Devontae knows how to get and live in the most luxurious of houses. He lived in a mansion on a 3,436-square-foot land expanse, which he acquired in 2019 for $429,250 with four luxurious bedrooms, three-and-a-half bathrooms, and a three-car garage before moving to a new home in Las Vegas in 2022 after his move to the Raiders. The new home is worth a whopping $12 million and is definitely an upgrade from his former house in De Pere with its penthouse structure with see-through glass walls, a swanky pool, and a serene view. Of course, Devontae doesn't live in a mansion of this status on his own. He lives there with his longtime partner and wife, the stunning Devane J. Villarreal. 
The couple met as students at Fresno State University in 2012, two years before Adams was drafted by the Green Bay Packers and began dating since then, and she was at his side on draft day as the cameras cut to his family's response. Adams proposed to Villarreal in the Bahamas in 2017 in the most breathtaking of ways, under the guise of a beach photo shoot. A year later, they got married at Pebble Beach in Monterey County, California, with Villarreal looking gorgeous as ever in a Vera Wang dress, and of course, Derek Carr was in attendance at the lovely ceremony. The couple went to the Greek island of Santorini for their honeymoon, and since then have given birth to two beautiful daughters, Deja Lee, born in September 2019, and Desi Lynn, born in April 2022. Villarreal has described her husband as a real sweetheart and a girl daddy, saying he didn't even let her change a single diaper in the first week of their first daughter's birth. Turns out, Devante is a big, menacing figure only on the field, but he's a big softy and a family man on the inside. They also have a furry family member, a pit bull named Luis. Villarreal graduated from Everett Alvarez High School before attending Fresno State, so she spent most of her life growing up and attending college in California. She continued living in the state while Adams was in Wisconsin during his time with the Green Bay Packers, flying back to California to see his family virtually every weekend, even missing organized team activities due to that. The couple eventually moved closer to their home state, relocating to the $12 million mansion in Las Vegas when Adams got traded to the Las Vegas Raiders in 2022. Villarreal works as an esthetician making an average salary of $37,000. She, like her husband, has a strong social media presence and is always there to support her husband during his games from the stands with their beautiful girls. Although Tay isn't a car freak, he does own a sleek, custom-white 2021 Lamborghini Urus worth over $220,000, and a Lamborghini Aventador Roadster, which he had specially customized for him. Star-studded Champion Motoring with silver satin exterior paint, while Champion Motoring decided to keep the interior under wraps. Through the scissor doors, we can see that the NFL star appears to have chosen black seats and other gloomy colors. He also got his beautiful wife a brand new premium SUV, a white Cadillac Escalade provided by the same dealership, Champion Motoring, which she appreciated him for on her social media. Devontae Adams is also involved in charitable works through the Green and Gold Charity Softball Game. He has partnered with them to help foundations such as Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin, one of the state's most prominent hunger relief organizations, and Make-A-Wish Wisconsin, a foundation for looking after children with critical illnesses. Adams had managed to stay out of trouble most of his career until recently, when he shoved a cameraman to the ground while walking towards the tunnel to exit the field after the Raiders lost a game to the Kansas City Chiefs. Although Adams apologized to the cameraman, charges were still pressed through the Kansas City PD, and a court date was fixed for his court hearing. We wish him good luck. If you enjoyed this video about Devontae Adams' lifestyle, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below, because we're sure you'll like that one too.